Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the boys. They wanted to show off their new haircuts to you. Don't mind my couch. I'm in the process of decorating for fall and I was putting covers on the pillows and the boys were just going nuts, jumping, wrestling. Ugh, I can't get anything done with these guys. They are just a ball of energy. One minute they're fighting, next minute they're kissing and falling asleep. <laughs> you just never know what they're going to be up to. But anyway, in today's video, we have another Halloween haul. I keep finding some really cute things so I thought I would share with you I'm in the process of decorating for fall right now so it'll be a little bit till I have a Halloween actual decorating video up but in the meantime let's get on into this haul and see the goodies that I picked up so first off I went into Dollar General and I found this little ghost he's holding a jack-o-lantern treat pail and he was only a dollar I thought he had a really cute face and then this bucket I was on the hunt for I'm in like a Facebook group for uh, Halloween decorating and I saw a lot of people haul this this was seven dollars I said it's described as a decorative bucket but they also come in another size um, um, that was like $15. It's double the size. That one I think would be cute to put like a mum in or maybe all your candy for the trick-or-treaters. This one is also a large size in my opinion, but I think I might use it to put like my utensils on my kitchen stove. I seen someone do that, so we will see how it turns out, but I think this is really cute. Next, I went into Michael's, and Michael's is always pretty pricey for me, so unless I have a really, like, good coupon, I don't usually, you know, buy anything right away from there, but I went in, and this wasn't on my list, but when I saw it, I fell in love. It is, you know, like a knockoff Stanley Tumblr. Um, it has the cutest pattern. I love all the ghosts, the bats. Everything was perfect about it, so I had to get that for spooky season. Next, I found these little mummies. Now, I think these are probably meant to be like in a village. Um, if you have like a little spooky village or those, you know, all those things that they sell like miniatures and Michaels. But the girl has like a little bow in her hair. And I just, I had to have both. They're sold separately, but I thought they just look so cute together, like a little couple. And these were only like three bucks each. Again, all the Halloween was like 30% off. And then I had another 25% off and um, some rewards bucks as well. So good deal on all these things. This dog, I there was only one left, and when I saw it, I was like, this is so cute. It lights up, and when I got home, I was shocked to see how bright this thing actually is. Like, usually when the eyes are cut out, like, you can just see, like, some light through the eyes, but this dog all of it illuminates it is so pretty and I just thought it was really unique I've seen a lot of the dogs like that the fur sticking out and it just looks like they have a sheet on but this one like it's just the whole shape of the dog and it's all white and I don't know I just thought it was really cute and again that one was only like 20 bucks and I had all the coupons so I got it pretty inexpensive Next, I went into Big Lots and I found this ghost pillow. I have another ghost pillow from, I think, Home Goods last year, but I like the shape of this one. And I thought, you know, one of them I could put on my bed, one I could put on the couch. And this was $12.99. And the day that I went there, I had a extra 20 or 25% off everything. So I got all the things that I liked because I knew I wouldn't have a coupon again for a while. But I found these two pack of LED candles. They have a timer. They have the moving flame like luminaras. And I really don't have any Halloween style ones like this. So when I saw the bats, I was like, okay, these are really cute. And they had ones with skulls too. I will probably put these on top of my fireplace mantle. 
Next, I found these little jack-o'-lantern espresso mugs. In my last haul, I showed you some ghost ones that I got from TJ Maxx. Well, now these are little jack-o'-lanterns and truth be told, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I won't be drinking espresso out of these, but I like to use them for decoration. Either I'll put them at my like little hot cocoa bar area or I will use these to craft um, and use like, you know, make them like fake sweets. Like I'll put like some whipped cream and stuff in them. I don't know. You'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with them yet. Next, I got these little pails, jack-o'-lanterns and skeletons. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to put up a Halloween tree this year. I have a black Christmas tree. I haven't put it up in probably like five years. And I don't know, I was feeling inspired this year. And I thought that these would look cute all over the tree. So I got like four of the pumpkins and four of the skulls. And they light up so bright, which I love. And I saw on Pinterest, um, just like a black Christmas tree with like all like the little mini pails on it. And I thought it looked really cute. So I figured if these light up, that'll even make it next level. So I'm really excited to pull that up and decorate it this year for the first time in a long time. And I'm really excited to share it with you and give you guys some ideas if you are also doing a Halloween tree. Next, I forgot to mention, this was also from Michael's. It's these little black cats in a bathtub. I thought this was so adorable. They actually had uh, jack-o'-lanterns um, in a bathtub and ghosts in a bathtub as well. And I don't know, there's just something about the cats though, the color combo. And then I have a black cat rug and some black cats on my shower curtain. So I thought that would be a perfect little bathroom decor. Next, I saw these in Dollar Tree. So they're only $1.25. I, they're like little potion bottles. And I like how, I don't know, just old and rustic they look. And there were two different sizes, these little mini ones as well. And I couldn't decide what exactly I was doing with them yet. So I just picked up both sizes because I thought, you know, whatever. I'll figure something out. But never seen those at Dollar Tree before. So they were definitely something new for me. Next, we will call this the ghost section of this Halloween haul. I love ghosts and I just couldn't help myself. All these things were so cute. First, in TJ Maxx, I saw this filler. It's like a supposed to be like a vase filler but or a bowl filler but they are these little tiny felt ghosts and they all have the cutest face and these were actually in a different box but i ended up putting them in this one that the ones in the bag are from it, it's confusing <laughs> these ones over here you got these are also a bowl filler and these ones are more like a sherpa and these ones i think came with like nine or ten and I split them with a friend because I didn't need them all and I just wanted a couple of them so we split that box and then the box that these little guys were in ripped so I just put them in this box if that makes any sense but both of these were so cute uh, the Sherpa ones were $12.99, which again was this box. And then the little tiny felt ones, you got these for $9.99, I believe. And they were all from TJ Maxx. Super cute. Not sure how I'll decorate with them yet, but you'll be finding out soon. Uh, next, I got this for $3.99. It's a little scrubby holder for your sink. I thought he would be really cute on the top of my sink with one of my Halloween sponges. This guy I shared on Instagram. If you follow me over there, it's house to home underscore XOXO. Uh, this is actually a like brie, like a cheese baker. It even has like a little instruction on the back on how to prepare it. But I'm not that fancy. I'll probably just make like some kind of dip, like a spinach dip or something. And I thought this would be really cute to put in. I love that he's like squished and melted looking. And that was from TJ Maxx. 
This ghost, also from TJ Maxx, was $7.99. And this lights up uh, just around the eyes. Like I said, again, like this is such a thick ceramic that it makes it that only the eyes light up where that dog really like illuminated the whole body. Um, but yeah, all these things, TJ Maxx, love them all. Love ghosts this year. They're, I don't know, they're just so cute. Next, also from, oh no, actually Home Goods. I got this little pedestal. Now, I'm not loving the skull and crossbones on the top. It's just not really something I'm into. But it was $4.99, and I was trying to find a little black pedestal for some fake sweets in my kitchen. So for now, I'll hold on to the receipt. If I find anything I like better, I'll return it. But I picked it up in case I couldn't find anything else. And plus when I eat the cupcakes or the sweets are on top of that, you won't probably see that skull and crossbones anyway. Next, this skeleton cat mug. I got this at TJ Maxx. It was $5.99. And I just, I love shaped mugs. And I just thought this one was really cute. It's by the brand Sunday Mornings. And I love that the tail is the handle. And I'm trying not to buy a whole bunch of mugs because I already do have a good amount. But sometimes you just find a cute one and you can't resist. Next, I went to my favorite local shop that I get a lot of primitive things from. And she had a little reduced section in the back. And this was back there. Not sure why. Probably from last fall Halloween. And it has a little witch hat on the top. And then the base is like a little orange and black picket fence. And I just think it's the cutest little spooky tree. And I think I even have like little pumpkins that I can hang on it. I have to go through my stash from last year. But love that. Really inexpensive. And then it's not a haul unless I have a little felt mouse of some sort. And I found this little guy in a pumpkin. Thought he was adorable. A lady hand makes these. I actually have one for Valentine's Day too where the mouse is like popping up out of the heart. So she did a really good job. I probably would have liked it if there was a jack-o'-lantern face on there. But either way, I can keep it out for fall and Halloween, which is great. Next... I went back to Big Lots, and if you remember in my last haul, I shared with you guys some pajamas that I got from Walmart. Well, after trying them on, I wasn't thrilled. Uh, the pants fit great, but the shirts were really short in my opinion. I like my pajamas to be like longer and oversized. And I saw these ones with the ghost, so I picked them up and I tried them on when I got home and these fit amazing. They were so comfortable. They're like the softest material and they're like a button up style shirt, short sleeve. And then they come with a pair of shorts and I'm kind of like a hot sleeper. Like I might wear like warm stuff, you know, around the house, but I just, I get too hot at night to have really thick pants on. So these would actually be perfect. And like I said, they fit so much better than the Walmart ones. So I was on the hunt. After I bought one pair, I went back to a couple big lots and I tried to find the other patterns that they came in. And I was lucky enough to find these ones as well. There's really cute little pumpkins on there. They all have like different little faces. And then this one has like an orange trim. So cute. And then I went to another Big Lots and found these ones, which I think might be my favorite. There's witches that are right in their broomsticks. And I just love that pattern. I think it is adorable. And again, these sets were, I think, the same price as Walmart's. So I took those back and got these. And I'm really excited to wear these like from now all the way until the end of October. It's still pretty warm here. So they're like the perfect thickness and material. And then I saw this sweatshirt also from Big Lots. It is like a gray and white tie dyed. It's not a hoodie, it's just like a regular crew neck. But how cute is this pattern? And this was only $9.99. And I would have liked to have gotten a size smaller because this is like kind of big on me. It's pretty oversized. But 
I don't care. It'll probably shrink in the wash and I could just wear it with a pair of leggings and really, really nice for 10 bucks. You're not going to get a sweatshirt that's soft for that price most places. So definitely check out your big lots. They have a lot of cute clothes. They had a sweatshirt that said pumpkin queen on it too, but they only had it in a size small, but they got really, really cute clothes this year. Next, I know, more Halloween sheets. You're probably thinking, April, didn't you just haul some in your last video? Yes, I did. But I ended up going to a Gabe's, and the last time I was there, they didn't have any Halloween sheets. And... I go in and they have a ton of them and these are the cutest patterns. These are black with white skeletons dancing and these were only $12.99 where I paid $20 for the ones that were in like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and truth be told I just I like darker color sheets too because you don't have to worry about like them getting marks as easily on them. And then these ghosts, which are also adorable. They have little candy corns and jack-o'-lantern pails. For $12.99, I just couldn't resist. And then I saw that there were extra pack of pillowcases for only $3.50. So I grabbed those two. I wish they would have had them for the skeletons, but maybe I'll find them the next time I go. But yeah, I know. I can't keep all of these sheets. I'm insane. So I think the ones that I hauled last time that were white that had ghosts on them, those ones are from TJ Maxx. I think I'm going to return them because I don't need to have two ghosts. And I think this one actually is cuter. And the haunted house ones I think I'll keep. I'll just have three sets and I'll rotate them and I'll have them for many years. But... Moving on from the sheet debacle, <laughs> I also found this Luminara candle at Gabe's for only $4.99. And I was like, what the heck? Why is that so cheap? And then I looked on the bottom, and that is definitely a TJ Maxx or a Home Goods sticker on the bottom that was ripped off. Now, why they got this, I have no idea, but I will tell you it was a metallic gold. You can see there's like two little spots on there that I missed, but I actually painted this. I didn't I don't like decorate with like metallics really that much for Halloween. And if I do, it would be silver more than gold. So I painted it white and I still got to do some more work to it. But for five bucks, it works and they're like $40. So I'm really excited to have found that. Then that same day, I stopped into a TJ Maxx and I find this blanket, which is for a full queen size bed. And what does it match? Pretty spot on the sheets. Like I had to have it because I figured if I'm going to keep all these sheets, I should definitely have a blanket that's going to look nice and match it, put it at the end of the bed. And I don't know. I just, I really have to decide. I think I'll keep the skeletons, the one pack of ghosts and the haunted houses, but the other ones will definitely go back. But I mean, come on. How, how do you say no to this stuff when you see it? If you are a Halloween lover like me, you just can't say no. But anyway, that is it for this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing. Um, I'm going to be starting my fall home tour videos really soon. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next one.